Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today's topic is transcription. Transcription is formation of RNA from DNA. Or in other words, it is copying the genetic information from one strand of DNA into RNA. Now during formation of RNA, both the strands are not involved, only one takes part in the formation of RNA. And it is only a part of DNA that is used. RNA is formed from DNA on the basis of complementarity. That is A pairing with T or you can say U and G pairing with C. Transcription unit is the part of DNA from which RNA is formed. It has three regions, structural gene, promoter and terminator. Now as polymerization occurs in the 5 prime, 3 prime direction, the 3 prime, 5 prime strand of the structural gene, the 3 prime, 5 prime strand of the structural gene is referred as the template strand. It is the part of DNA from which RNA is formed. While the 5 prime, 3 prime strand is referred as the coding strand. As this strand has the base sequence similar to the RNA molecule that is formed, the only difference being uracil is present in the RNA instead of thiamine. The template strand is also referred as antisense strand, while the coding strand is referred as the sense strand. Now, all references to the transcription unit are done, made with the coding strand. Promoter is the region where transcription starts. It lies upstream of the gene, that is towards the 5' prime end of the structural gene. While terminator is the region where transcription end, it lies downstream of the gene that is towards the 3 prime end of the structural gene. Present in the promoter is Pribno box in prokaryotes while in eukaryotes Hognes or Tata box is found. Transcription occurs with the help of RNA polymerase enzyme. RNA polymerase enzyme is a holoenzyme. It consists of core polymerase plus sigma factor. The core polymerase consists of four polypeptide chains. Two are of alpha type, one beta and one beta prime. Sigma factor attached to the core polymerase forms the RNA polymerase. Sigma factor helps in recognizing the promoter on the DNA to which RNA polymerase binds after which the sigma factor is released. In prokaryotes there are, is a single RNA polymerase while in eukaryotes, there are three types of RNA polymerase, RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2 and RNA polymerase 3. RNA polymerase 1 transcribes 5.8S, 18S and 28S ribosomal RNA. RNA polymerase 2 forms heterogeneous nuclear RNA which undergoes processing to form messenger RNA while RNA polymerase 3 forms transfer RNA, 5S ribosomal RNA and small nuclear RNA. Process of transcription. Transcription occurs in three steps, initiation, elongation and termination. First initiation, upon receiving signal from the cytoplasm, RNA polymerase binds to the promoter site on the DNA. 
RNA polymerase binds to the promoter site on the DNA with the help of sigma factor. RNA polymerase also catalyzes the opening of the two strands of DNA. Complete DNA does not open up, only the part required opens up. After which the sigma factor is released. Next step is elongation. Now after the sigma factor is released, left behind is the core polymerase which carries out elongation or polymerization. Polymerization occurs in the 5 prime, 3 prime direction with the help of the ribonucleoside triphosphate that is adenosine triphosphate, guanosine triphosphate, cytidine triphosphate and uridine triphosphate. The nucleotides are added on the basis of complementarity. Elongation continues till the termination signal is reached. Now as the termination signal is reached, termination occurs. Termination occurs with the help of protein factor called rho factor which recognizes the termination signal. Transcription comes to an end and the nascent RNA molecule is released. Gene is the functional unit of inheritance. It is the part of DNA coding for RNA. Cystrom, it is the segment of DNA or RNA coding for a polypeptide gene. In prokaryotes, the structural gene is polycystronic, means it codes for many polypeptide chains, while in eukaryotes, the structural gene is monocystronic, that it is codes for a single or one polypeptide gene. In eukaryotes, the monocystronic structural gene has coding and non-coding sequences. The coding sequences are known as exons while the non-coding sequences are known as interons. Such genes are known as split genes and they were discovered by Sharp. So this is a structural gene of a eukaryote where the exon and the introns are present. RNA undergoes processing in eukaryotes. The first step of processing is splicing. Splicing is removal of introns and joining of exons. It occurs with the help of spliceosomes. These are ribonucleoprotein complexes. The introns are removed and the exons are joined to each other. Further processing occurs in heterogeneous nuclear RNA to form messenger RNA. Next is capping. Methyl guanosine phosphate caps are added at 5 prime end. Methyl guanosine phosphate caps are added at the 5 prime end. And third step of processing is staling. That is polyadenylation occurs at 3 prime end. Polyadenylation means addition of 200 to 300 adenylic acid that is adenine nucleotides towards the 3 prime end. At the end let's try to remember RNA polymerase 1 for ribosomal RNA, 2 for messenger RNA, 3 for transfer RNA. 1, 2, 3 and alphabetically RST. 1 for ribosomal, 3 for transfer. Now instead of S, you have M here. 
to form messenger RNA. Next, splicing. Splicing is removal of introns and joining of exons. So, exons express introns in trash. Means exons express themselves while introns are removed. Capping. Methyl guanosine caps are added at 5 prime end. Tailing polyadenylation occurs at 3 prime end. 3 and A come first. 3 numerically, A alphabetically. So adenine is added at 3 prime end. 5 numerically and G alphabetically comes later. Means guanine is added at 5 prime end. Thank you. Thank you for watching.